on second thought, let's go back for my power armor. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout 4. Pablo Punchwood here, along with Wilson, his faithful hound. And we are going to go grab the power armor, head over to Sanctuary, and meet up with what's left of the Minutemen, the remnants of the Minutemen. I know I'm carrying too much and can't run, clearly. Um, the, the Minutemen and the survivors from Concord, Massachusetts, where we have uh, just come from. So, All right, and I figured some things out here, too. First of all, silence! Um, yeah, I did not get the power armor onto the rack. I, I, I know how to do that now. You just have to get closer, frankly. Um, and press another button, and so forth and so on. We'll, we'll do that when we get to Sanctuary. I know, I heard you, Wilson. I know you want to go. What? What, boy? What? You don't like my armor, do you? He's a little frightened by it. I get it. I get it. It's scary stuff. I think we got enough juice to get to Sanctuary. Come on. Now I don't have to move so slowly, either. Because I was bogged down with a lot of junk. We're going to dump off all the junk at Sanctuary once we get there. I, I, is my... Motley! Wilson, come on! I hope... Uh, I hope it's coming. You know, sometimes this is why a guy likes to work alone. If I run out of gas because of you... Hold on. Let me climb out. Hold on. Dog ownership. Okay. I think he wants me to check something out. What's up, boy? I want... You're scraping at the ground here. Come here. Actually, come here for a sec. All right. Hold on. I want to give you something because I can barely walk. We can we can move stuff to him. That's what we're going to do. Um... You kind of remind me of my great 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 grandpa, um, Hellgraf Frosthammer. You remind me of his 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 wife, Lydia. Yeah. If you watch my Skyrim series, then you would understand that. Lydia gets really upset when Hellgraf would give her stuff to carry. I'm sworn to carry your burdens. There we go. All right. Now, fetch. What are you doing? Come here. Hey. All right. Let's talk. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, buddy? You want to find... Hey, boy. Are you looking for something? Think you can find something for me? So I'm learning all new tricks on my, my own here. Think you can find any goodies, boy? Reading on... You're, you're scratching at the ground. Wait. First it said he did, and then it said he didn't. Sad whimper. What's up? Oh, wow, I had not been back here. Isn't that interesting? Red rocket terminal. I really didn't want to do this right now. I, I didn't want to do this right now, Doug Meat. Uh, and Wilson. Hey. I have enough junk. Over here. No, I want I want you to follow me. Heads up. He should be following me. Alright, come on. We'll come back for this later, really. I gotta get this power armor to the sanctuary. I'm out of here. I'll come back to Wilson. I don't know what he's doing. Wilson, come. Follow. I'm just gonna tell him to go this way. Go there. Get over there. Come on, keep coming. I'm just gonna get there before. <laughs> We're out of power cells. I'm running on E here. Running on fumes, dog. I know you want to go back there, but I don't care. We've got to go catch up with our friends in Sanctuary. Get over there. Now to get... Oh, oh my gosh. You're going to go swimming, are you? All right, we're almost there. There is a workshop area on one, in one of these houses. I'm watching you. Wilson. Go there. Go there now. Alright. Um, oh, there's somebody there. Oh, no. That's Codsworth. Right, keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. We gotta get there quick. Which house is it? 
Oh, there's some people. Yeah, that's uh, Jun. Jun? Jun? Oh, here we go. Here we go. I told you. Move here. Move there. Now let me out of that. Um, let me out. Out. Here we go. Yes, perfect. I knew there was a, a rat thing here. So now what we do is just move over here, and then we walk up and do craft. <laughs> that was intuitive, wasn't it? Yep, that's how we do it. And now, my friends, we repair. Can I repair? Do I have enough to repair? I think I do. Yes, we removed a, re a wrench from my inventory. Oh, right, hey, that's Guy. Reginald Reg Guy. I forget his name. We'll go chat. All right. Um, but first, we're going to dump off some stuff. Sturges. Yes, that's the guy. I like to see it. Everybody working hard here. We're going we're gonna to get settled here, right? My dog likes him. I'm carrying too much. Not anymore. Watch this. Store all the junk. Store all the junk in this workshop. And as far as I know, all the workshops are unique. Um, as far as their inventories go. Until you get a particular perk. Now, it doesn't look like it moved all the junk over. I guess it doesn't consider some of these things junk. All right, then. Long John's? Not junk. Now, let's go back on the craft here. See, I'm missing an arm because the arm is all in pretty rough shape. See that left arm? Let's, uh, let's put the left arm on. Whoops. No, go back, go back, go back. Equip. Yes, put it on there. I fixed it. Now we put it on. Why are you working on the leg? I said the arm. Whatever. I'm new at this. I'm new at this. Let's check it out. The arm's good. It's back on. That's great. All right, don't you touch my power armor, Mama Murphy. She'll be smoking and driving. That one. All right, uh, I think we have to go talk to the boss man. Here he is, here he is, here he is. Dog is freaking out. Hey, Preston! I <laughs> made it. I'm glad you decided to come with us. Mm -hmm. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? That's funny, because I lived here once, my friend. And I know about Mama Murphy. Um, strange being back. I don't know. It's strange being back here. What do you mean? You used to live here or something? <laughs> I had to take this ridiculous mask off. <laughs> yeah, before the war. Yeah. Before the war. Before everything was ruined. What do you mean? Before what <sighs> war? Are you saying... <sighs> uh, I lived it's... here... Over 200 years ago. Long story, Preston. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. <laughs> like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say uh -huh. you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Uh, I'm unsure about that. I don't really know if my son made it out, to be honest. I mean, no, yeah, I know he made it out. I don't know exactly when. Um, all right, my son. My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. Preston, we had this I discussion in Concord. Let me know if there's any way I can help. <laughs> anyway, I am glad you're here. Okay, glad that you... I hope you, you don't mind. Took that all seriously. But I've got another favor to ask. I've oh, had boy. word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you mm. think you could go help out the settlement? That um, sounds logical. What kind of help you need? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Let's count me I'd in. be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. Achievement By the way, freedom calls. if you want to help out around here at all... Talk to Sturgis. Ooh, level up. I'm what? sure he'd be glad for all the okay. help he can get. Yeah, yeah. All right, I will talk to Sturgis. Um, so I think we can start like establishing the first step. Put, put, put. We can start establishing a, uh, a base of operations here, which is really cool. Before we go talk to Sturgis, you smell anything, boy? 
Sniff, sniff, sniff. I wanted to pick this up. This is my favorite. Conan the Bar... B Grognark the Barbarian. Yes. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. So these books, the comic books and uh, textbooks and so forth, add permanent upgrades. So that's great. I like, I like melee. If I take after my great 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 grandfather Hellgraf Frosthammer, then I'll be smashing lots of people in the head and knees and faces and stuff. Now, someone said in the comments there was a book under the crib. Oh, oh, you're you're special. I remember I read this book to Sean so many times, and it it. I can upgrade one um, attribute. What should we do, guys? Ooh, I've, I've already put a bunch into agility. I hear luck is really fantastic. Did I do it? Really? That was anticlimactic. I thought maybe it would tell me. Level up one. Was my luck three before? Did I grab the dang book? Are you serious? I guess it was three before, yeah, because I had intelligence of three. Yeah, okay. That's good. All right, let's, um... What's up? You just follow me around. I know. It's fine. Let's go out. This, the, the terrible memories in here. I can't stay in here any longer. Um, oh, my old toaster. And I went out the back. So we'll go talk to Sturgis. But before we do that, let me just do a quick level up here so this stuff is still pretty unfamiliar to me and confusing but let's see how do we uh oh yeah we can scroll down here all right okay guys i think i figured this screen out first of all it's absolutely horrific navigating it I'm gonna scroll down with my mouse. I'm gonna push it off to the side. Everything's flicking at me. Um, but it looks like we can choose any one of these down here as long as we have the prerequisite, which is one of the special attributes. And, and the ones that are outlined like this, I can't take, obviously. So I can choose Gun Nut, which was right down here somewhere. Here it is. I'm gonna go with Gun Nut, just because I'm nuts about guns, clearly. Don't lick the parts. That's disgusting. <laughs> you don't know where those parts have been. All right, so now shoot first, kill first with access to base level and rank one gun mods. Interestingly enough, that's intelligence. Huh. Anyway, okay, so I guess that's all we have right now. Um, we're probably going to want to do some lock picking and some scroungery stuff. There's one called Scrapper that's supposed to be really good, too. Uh, oh, here's Locksmith. Can't do it right now, but we'll get that one soon. Um, anyway, all right, let's get out of here. I don't want to, you know, mess around with those too much. Hey, Sturgis. You willing to do some work? Yeah, sure. What do you need? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Um, why can't you do it? Why do you need my help to build beds? Look, we got a lot on our plate, and we've been on the run for weeks. We need food, water, shelter, you name it. Well, you asked how you could help. I yep. told you. Is that my dog Did scratch? you mean it or not? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in. Beds. I'd be glad to help. Okay, good deal. All Just right. make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. All right, cool. Sanctuary. Build sheltered beds for sanctuary settlers. So we've got to make beds for settlers. So this is good. We'll learn how to use all of this material and the workbenches um, piecemeal to request. I knew you'd join us yeah. here, kid. Your yeah, energy is tied to this place. You saw it, right? Wait, my energy? My energy? What do you mean? Thought I told you before, kid. I saw you leave that icebox. I know your pain. 
This world, it's not yours. But here you are. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Yeah, jet, right. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always gonna be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Alright, jet. Uh... Well, I, I may have some of that, but I don't know, Mama. I'm a little worried about you, but if it's going to help you see where my son is... Uh, okay, here you go. Here. Already have some. Like a little kick yourself, huh? N no, This will no, do. No. No. Let me ride the high to where the sight wants to take me. Find my son, Diamond Mama Murphy. City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know... But people's oh. hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. Yeah. And you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Okay. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow, Follow the, the signs, signs to, to the, the bright, bright heart. heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. Oh, that was the reading. I'm gonna need to rest now, kid. Oh, you're right. It is a quick rush. That was fast. Hey, don't tell anybody where you got that stuff, all right? But anything from my boy. I don't I don't care. Uh, all right. Let's make beds. So, here's what we do. Uh, we got to bring up the workshop. Settlers need food, water, a bed, and shelter. Increase your settlement's happiness rating by providing each settler with all of the basics. All right, well, beds first, as we have been um, uh, uh, charged to do. So what we can do is grab stuff off the ground, like all this junk. For example, this tire right here. And I know Wilson loves to flip it. Loves to flip tires. But we've got lots of them. So we're going to scrap that one, and it's going to give us some scrap. Check it out. Four rubber coming off that thing. Bam! Nice! Do we just walk around the whole town and do this? This is really great. How about a sign? We don't ha we don't need no stinking uh, speed limits in my town. Uh-uh. More tires. Um, and we're not going to do a lot of this, guys. But just for a few minutes to show you how it works. We do not have any mail system anymore, so let's get the steel off that. And I think we need some wood. So we can get rid of this junk, too. Maple branches, yeah. Let's clean it all up. With some wood. Grab that branch there. We've got Sturgis working hard over there. Uh, this is a large log. Let's take it. Look at that wood. Alright, now let's make a bed and see how... How do we move maneuver in this thing? There we go. Furniture. Um, select it. Select it. Beds. Select it. We got a bed. Alright. Now, that one's kind of cruddy. This tells us what it requires. Why would I make a stained bed when I can make a nice bed? And it seems to require the same thing here. Steel, four steel, five cloth. And I have enough. Oh! <laughs> Shoddy! Wait, is that a crib? Oh, never mind. All right, let's make a bed for somebody... Listen, I don't really want you in my workshop, sleeping in my workshop. Uh, um, how about this house here? Yeah, let's let's put somebody in this house right here. It's got a few bedrooms. Uh, here we go. Let's put a bedroom, a bed right here. How do I do it? E build. It's a little cramped, but I think we can move it later if we want to. There's one bed, and. Should have cleaned this out. Yeah, let's let's clean this out right now. Let's scrap that bed. Yeah, get rid of that junky bed. Let's scrap this bed. This is really cool. I, I'm <laughs> very impressed with this uh, this system. I'm really oh a safe. <gasps> oh, I don't want to destroy this stuff. Let's get rid of this one though. That was kind of junky. Wooden steel, yeah. There we go. All right. Now let's make a bed. 
There we go. Okay, so now I have a bed. And... Oh, what is that? Is that Codsworth? Oh, I can spin it around. That's kind of cool. Alright, so now we have two bedrooms. Let's get dark. Um, and how about this room in here? Let's just stick a bed in here for now. Yeah, I know it's kind of tight, but... Shelter bed, 60%. Alright, we're going to get some people sharing a room here. For now. There we go. Alright, so that is 80% of the beds. And now I need more cloth. So let's get out of here. Get out of there and go grab some cloth. And scrap a car? Oh yeah, look at all that steel. Now I wonder if, I, if I'm scrapping right here, I'm pretty sure it goes into the workshop inventory. And not in my pockets. As, otherwise I'd never be able to walk. I can scrap an entire house. Look at that. But really what I want right now is some more cloth. So let's go in my old house. And... Where do I get cloth? What is this? Oh. Oh, a rug. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make myself a bed right here. And I have a feeling somebody else is going to snag it. But that's okay. It will at least qualify for a real bed anyway. Do I have everything I need? I do. Let's make a clean bed, okay? This will be my bed. My bedroom where my wife and I used to sleep. Me and Nora. Whoops. Right here. Built. 100%. We've built all the beds. We can go talk to Sturgis again. Alright. Can I claim my bed? No, but I can sleep in my bed. You can sleep in your beds, and you can lay in cou lie on couches to uh, pass the time. Dog is flipping out. And it might even heal up. I'm not sure about that. Oh, man, it's raining. What a crappy day. Got okay. a favor to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but yes. I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? I yeah, absolutely can do that. Yes. Can't you just use any chair? Oops. The sight's been real exhausting lately. Got aches and pains. Even when I'm lying down. I know it's odd asking for a fitted chair in this day and age, but it really helped me out, kid. Yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. I'd sure. love to. Be glad to help. Thank you. Anything for you, Mama. Anything for you. Let's make a chair. And we're going to put it right here in the workshop where everybody hangs out. It seems like the place to do it. Come on. Hold it down. And this is furniture beds. We have furniture chairs. Boom. <laughs> this is so great. How about that? Oh, I need more cloth, Mama. I'm sorry. Listen. Looking forward to that chair. I, I'll You're get right on. so kind. Uh, me like this. It's the least I can do, Mama. You help me find my son, I'm going to pay you back. Trust me. But I need to find some cloth. N uh, never mind. Let me I talk like to Sturgis. It. Hi. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. Glad to help. Oh, I'm trying to turn on my lights. Uh, what do you mean, clean water? What do you mean? Like a well. They won't have to keep drinking the river water. That Yo. stuff's not good for you. <laughs> no. You're drinking the river water? Are you I want to trade a few insane? things. Oh, we can trade? Ooh, all right. Now, the trick with water pumps is to find a good spot for them. Right. Some place you can dig down the groundwater. Oh, rain lets up soon. Yeah, the groundwater. All right, well, I can do that. We have to make water pumps. That's so cool. But first, I need to make um, Mama's chair. Let's go make Mama's chair. I need to find some cloth. I guess we can scrap this stuff, right? This, look at all the cloth in the furniture. I think that makes sense, right? Oh, yeah. We'll scrap the cruddy ones and we'll make our own. That's a good idea. Scrap that rug. And now we're going to go make um, Mama Hootie. Hootie. Mama Murphy. <laughs> chair. <laughs> I got your chair. This thing is so comfortable. 
I can tell already. I'm going to turn it around. You can sit right here and watch everybody right here, okay? Right there, Mama Hootie. Hootie. Boom. There's your chair. I'm afraid I'm not much use in the fight anymore. But nah. back in the day, folks used to call me Murphy the Mad Woman. <laughs> that does not surprise me, Murphy. Have a seat. It's an airplane seat. I made you an hey. airplane seat. I'm all right, kid. Just need to take it easy before using the sight. Okay. Uh, did I make you the right seat? Or did I mess that up? Let me check my pit boy. Build Mama Murphy's chair. Oh. Okay. I guess I didn't make the right chair. Wow, that was dumb. Where's Mama Murphy's chair? I really don't know what kind of chair you're looking for. I'm sorry. Special. Oh, special. Are you kidding me? All right. I got your chair. Let's, uh... You're driving me. You're driving me insane. Here, I'll put you right here then. Okay, I'll move the airplane chair. <laughs> Can't believe I made an airplane chair. <laughs> Completed. Thank goodness. Uh, speak up. Hey. I need to sit down, kid. I made it. Right here, Mama Murphy's chair. <laughs> Can't believe an airport chair. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, that was a little goofy. What is this thing? Anyway, I'm, I hope you enjoy your chair, Mama Murphy. That's a nice spot for you. You're out of the rain. Uh, well, kinda. And take care of yourself, dear. All right, you too. Thanks, Mama. I'm gonna take a quick nap here, and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right. I think we've done enough for one day. This is my house. No one messes with my house. All right. So, come here, buddy. Heads I want up. You to stay here and guard. Okay? Wait there. Stay right there. Guard me. I'm going to get to bed. Ah, <sighs> the lights. There we go. And we get to sleep for a little while. It's 11 p.m. We're going to sleep right to the morning. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys in the a.m. When Pablo Punchwood gets up, we're going to get an early start in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, John, get out of my bed. That's not me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what did I say? This is my room.